Alright guys, I'm back again with another video and today we're going to explain the hero editor. So first you want to join the discord channel off of the main menu. And once you're here, you'll get the rules and information, you know, all the good stuff in discord. Skip all that and go ahead and scroll all the way down to the player made content. Once you're in the player made content, go ahead and go up to the pinned menu and click on that. Scroll all the way down to the hero siege editor selection. Go ahead and click on that and once you're there you will get a discord channel find that discord channel go to the discord channel and find download in the download section you'll find the file that you can download right away once you go ahead and download that you'll have it in your files i like to go ahead and drag that off to my desktop it makes it a lot easier to find but you know you can do what you want once the file editor is opened You'll see that you have a bunch of slots that say new. This is linked to your local file on the Hero Siege game itself. So once you find it, go ahead and select a character that you want to work on and plug it in. I'm going to go ahead and select Nomad. Then you plug in the levels, the hero levels, the wormholes, the gold, whatever you want. Next, you'll go ahead and select equipment. You'll know that the Nomad only uses melee, and they give you all the selections for weapons right here. But obviously Nomad can only use melee. So let's select the sword option and go ahead and start plugging some stuff in. This editor has every piece of gear that is in game, including maybe some new pieces, depending on the editor, um, whether or not it is updated for the next season or not. So now you can go in and you can put in your relics. You can select whether or not you want actives to be shown or the passives. And it's really easy. You just literally left click on everything. And if you decide that uh, you want to remove the relics, all you actually have to do is go up to the relic in the slot and just right click it. Every time you right click it, it will remove the relic. It's just that simple. In the forge section, what you can do is find a weapon or a piece that you want to upgrade past 100% and you just literally type in the quality. This gets kind of weird, but after you type it in, you just hit the little anvil button and it will forge it for you. You can actually put it at a ridiculous percent if you want. You can go to like 100,000%. This is not realistic, but you know, feel free to just have fun if you want. In the ability menu, you'll have every ability in the game. This is super busted, but they should really change this to have only the ones that are available for you to get in game. Instead, it has every single one. We'll go ahead and roll flash fire because that's an angelic key ability and it's realistic. The whole roll option right here is just kind of like quality and it works mainly based on ability level. Wouldn't really make a huge difference on a piece that doesn't really have an ability level. Here's where you would actually gear out your merc if you want. And then once all that's done, make sure you definitely save it. Saving is the most important thing in this. If you don't save, you actually won't have any of the files converted into the game. Up in the export file, this is where you would literally save a build if you want. And importing is the exact same. You just click on it, click on the build you saved, and then load it back in. It's that simple. Clicking on the little uh, inventory box tab allows you to add all of the little pieces into the game, such as runes and keys and Damien pieces. If you know you want to test any of those out in the local file. Once you're done with all that, you just go back into the game, go to your local file, find the character that you worked on, and then just load it up. Once in game, you'll see that all the stuff you plugged in is right on your character. You'll see that uh, the abilities and stuff you rolled using the forge are all the way that you made it. You'll see that your hero levels are all plugged in the way that you put. 
including whether or not you put over 100% or 100 hero levels, I guess that's up to you, but you could put in whatever. And then you just have to plug in your talents and all that stuff separately. And just like that, now you guys know how to use the Hero Siege Editor. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, slam the subscription button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.